Yo, you guys asked for sculpting, and that is exactly what you'll get. So, uh, I have a bunch of clay, I have a countertop, and I have some wax paper, so let's get sculpting. I don't really do detail detailed sculpts. I do more like cutesy things, like not very complicated, just like, like a cute donut or a rose or like a bunny or something. So, um, sorry. If that's not enough for you, well, that's just what I do here, okay? Actually, I don't think I've made a sculpting video, and the one that I did was, like, really old. Don't, don't watch it. Clay donut tutorial. Anyways, let's move on to a turd. No, a chocolate donut. All right, first we need to prepare our surface. As you can see, get the turd out of my hand. We need wax paper. Okay, what's up with this? I have parchment paper. Two, no, three things of clean wrap, three things of aluminum foil, and no wax paper. Yet she uses the parchment paper the most, and that's the only other substitute I can use for this. Shh, we just won't tell her. Wait, where is the wax paper? A do. Ta-da. Well, anyways, so <laughs> let us get this flattened out. All right, done. We have our tools, we have our clay, so what are we going to make? Well, we're going to start out with this. We're going to cut it in half. Alright, now we're going to cut it into qu- Alright, not even, but I guess it's pretty good. We'll make do with it. Now, let's banish all the rest of them. Alright, and now- Why are you still here? Get out of here! Get! Alright, I guess that worked. Anyways, let's turn this into a little ball. So I'm gonna close my hand. Oh, it looks like a little milk chocolate ball. It looks so tasty. Oh my gosh. Now, we're gonna slam it into a pancake shape. But make sure it's like one of those souffle pancakes you see on TikTok, you know? We don't want it to be too flat, unlike me. Itty bitty titty committee felt that one. Now, we have this ball thing at the end of my tool, so guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna make a hole in the donut! And now once you've uh, kinda gotten it to the shape you want, you want to pick your frosting color. I will show you how to make like a normal cake color uh, later on in the video, but for now we're just using my brown. I just mix brown with like a little bit of orange and red to make it a little bit of a warmer tone, so it looks more realistically like chocolate. Or like a at, you know, chocolate baked good. Anyways, so what do I want for the frosting color? Well, I think we'll just do the classic pink frosting. I know this stuff has, well, stuff on it, but we don't have to worry about that. Just <laughs> unravel the clay. You know what? This would be much easier if I just... Oh wow, it just magically appeared into the right size chunk I need. So we're just going to mix that up to get rid of all the other, like, blue dots and stuff you see in there. Might even turn it a cute purple-pink color. Usually the other splotches of color on your clay don't affect it that much. I'm just doing this so that I can have an even color. At least that's what I've learned from my experiences. Yeah, see, the blue speckles that were originally on the clay didn't really affect it much. Pretty much the same color. Actually, it is the same color. Um, anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna flatten it out, so... Sorry, my chickens at my neighbor's house are cawing. Or, go, they're going bok bok, okay? Or root 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 root, <laughs> for lack of a better term, or phrase, or whatever. I'm bad with words. Anyways, so unlike our lovely donut, you do not want this to be a souffle pancake. You want it to be one of those crepes, you know? My grandma just called them thin pancakes. <laughs> I don't think she knew what the term crepe was, or maybe she did and she just tried to explain it to me in the most simple way possible because I was an idiot child. Still am, anyways. <laughs> So what you're going to do is you're going to cut out the frosting shape you want according to the size of your donut. So I'm just going to do that real quick. I like to make it into a more like flowy uh, design so it looks like the fr frosting is just randomly dripping off it. You know, so we see these very straight up 
stuck edges, we're just gonna flatten those babies down, all right? Don't flatten babies, that will be bad. Babies are good, okay? They didn't mean any harm. They didn't mean to make you break up with your best friend. I don't know. What the heck am I talking about? Am I mentally insane? Well, anyways, I tried to make a hole with the little ball at the end of this tool right here, but I'm just gonna cut out a little hole. Again, according to the size of my donut, it doesn't have to fit perfectly because we can just smush it into the sides and make it look like, you know, frosting dripping down. With the excess gone and the sides flattened, uh, we, or inside rather, we are going to place it on the donut. All right, transportation. Oh no, where did it go? Let's try it again. All right, after smoothing it for a little bit, I'm going to drag the edges down into the hole for a more realistic look. All right, now that, that it's a little bit roughed up, I'm gonna show you a trick I learned from a YouTuber called Nerdy Crafter. She's really great and you should go subscribe to her. Her, sorry, my voice kind of timed out, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so send in rubbing alcohol. All right, it looks so daunting compared to the donut. Anyways, so what I like to do is I just like to get a little bit on my finger and just kind of smooth some imperfections out um, with my finger. Didn't really get a lot on my finger, so I'm just gonna try again. Be careful of how much you use because it can and will make the clay sticky. You just gotta be careful of how much you use and just don't use too much and just keep on smoothing until it's great. I don't really like the frosting drips on my donut. Of course I could change that, or at least on this side, but I don't really feel like it. You know what, I'ma do it. All right, so as you can see, I changed the edges. They kinda look a little better, kinda not. Um, I tried to fix them up so it looks good, but it kinda just doesn't. Um, again, be careful. The clay is very sticky. But anyways, besides that, since it is sticky, why don't we add some little sprinkles? I have never tried this, but I'm going to use glitter to decorate mine. Be very careful with glitter. It gets everywhere and it is not, <laughs> although it is very pretty, it's not a very clean and uh, <laughs> clean friendly thing to craft with and personally I don't like crafting with it that often unless it's for something really small like this. So yeah, just keep that in mind. It's very messy. Sure you already knew that to all you experienced crafters out there, but for all of the other ones who are watching that don't know the absolute terror of glitter getting everywhere, please be careful. I'm using a chunky gold glitter so that it can look a little bit more like uh, cute circle sprinkles. I'm gonna very carefully pour just a little bit amount. You don't need a lot, this stuff gets everywhere. <laughs> um, and I'm picking just a little bit up with my finger and just dabbing it across the donut while it's still sticky from the rubbing alcohol. I'm gonna continue doing this until I'm satisfied with the sprinkle slash glitter coverage. All right, it looks like a cute little glittery sprinkled donut. Now what I'm gonna do, or uh, what the people I learned how to make these donuts from, is create little fruit stuff uh, to put on top of my donut and make a cute little face. Most of them have like the little fruit canes that like, you know, once they're like uh, chopped off, you have multiple of them and then they're like little nail dollop thingies that you can just put on your donut. Um, but I don't have that, so I like to create my own. It's pretty simple too. Even though they're really tiny, I'm sure you can do it. So what do we want for this donut? Well, I'm actually not going to do any fruit um, on this one because it's like glittery and it's all like, ooh, fancy. So I'm actually going to create a different add-on. Well, not exactly create per se. I have cute little frou-frou, sparkly tinsel pom-poms that I can put on my donut. Now, you do not want to put this on before baking. You want a hot glue or super glue, Elmer's glue, whatever kind of glue you have afterwards because I'm pretty sure fabric will burn in the oven. Again, do not try this because that will result in fire and fire is not good and I do not want anybody suing me. So please, 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 please do not put fabric materials in the oven. That is bad. That is very, very bad. 
So we will hot glue these on after, 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 after we bake it. Again, please do not put these on before you put it in the oven. My towel is covering the oven, but anyways. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a cute little face for this donut now. She's going to be a glam donut, have all her fancy pom-poms. <gasps> oh, wait. What if we did like a cute little little ear moment? Like what if we made it like ears on the... Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Yes, I'm sorry, but you will not be used. Anyways, so we're going to make a cute little face for it. First, get out your black polymer clay. At least that's what I like to use for my faces. And now we're just gonna take a tiny itty bitty section of it. Trust me, you won't even need this much. Be gone with you. Enter tiny little polymer clay flea, I don't know. So I'm just rolling this out until it's a very, very, very thin strip. You want it to be thin, otherwise your mouth will look like a mustache. All right, now that you've got a tiny sliver of polymer clay, you're just going to chop it at the length, about a little bit more than the length of the mouth you want. Try to get the other stuff from sticking to it. All right, now um, you can definitely use your fingers, but it's going to be really hard. I recommend getting either like a, like a little toothpick or like one of these metal toothpicks I have with another tool at the end um, that looks like a crescent moon and it's really cool. Anyway, so I'm going to like... Um, I'm actually going to roll this, well, not even roll it, just do that, and that'll make this shape. What you're going to do is put it on the donut. Ready? Bam. Now, I can't hold my phone and record and do this at the same time, so what you're going to do is basically kind of indent these two and curve the ends upwards so that it looks like... All right, um, it's a little uneven in the math department, but I'm still learning and I haven't done clay sculpting in a while, excuses, um, but I'm still trying and I'm still working on it. Anyway, so you're gonna do two little black eyeballs and then you're gonna put it right on your, again, <laughs> a little uneven. It's derpy, but that's okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some eyelashes cause we gotta get that they kind of look like little spiders, but okay. Now we're gonna take just the teensiest bit of white polymer clay. Like seriously, just a little pick will do. Now I'm gonna cut this little one in half, and then we're just gonna place it on the eyeball. Why is this so uneven all the time? Okay, so um, you can stop here if you want for the face, but I usually like to add one really, one big eye shine, and then a little small eye shine. So let's do that. All right, now that the face is done, <laughs> we're gonna bake this little donut. Oh wait, I said I was gonna show you how to make a cake color. Let's do that. Now how to make this lovely vanilla cake color is you get white, terrible transition, um, and a little bit of orange and yellow. Now, Shinso, what did we say about loud blonde? Sorry, just a little BNHA reference for you there. Danky Kaminari Simps. Let's all gather together right now because he is just the cutest little Pikachu. I just love him so much. He's so dumb. It's amazing. Also, my favorite color is yellow. <laughs> Okay, well, I don't have yellow, I just have orange, and I tried to mix neon green and, like, that orange. I know it looks red on camera, but it's orange in real life, um, together, and usually that would make a yellow for me, but it made, like, the cake color. Who heck knew? So if you just mix, like, a burgundy neutral orange, or not neutral, um, and a neon green, you'll get a cake color. But if you want to do it and you have brown, white, orange, and yellow, then you can mix that until it's to your liking. If you have some bronze or gold clay, you can throw it in there to add a little bit of more warmth and shine. Cause sparkles are fun. Anyways, I'm gonna make a quick little project with just some cake colored clay. Alright, now that 
got my lavender done already. I am going to get ready to put these in the oven. I'm going to have a small pan. I'm going to preheat the oven to 275. I know that may seem like low temperature, but if you go any higher, it will burn your clay. So 250 to 275 is most likely the best but check your clay instructions and see what they say what temperature you should put it at i made the mistake of going 375 once and it burnt it all so they need like a nice slow bake so they can get nice and dry and hard um but it takes a little while probably like 10 to 15 minutes so i'm gonna put these little guys in there for 10 to 15 minutes at 275, and then I'll be right back at you to glue the little pom-poms onto their cute little faces. Okay, well, I'm gonna post a little follow-up vid, um, and it's gonna be a YouTube short, so stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching, and remember, make the magic.